So this is a quick video to show you how to update your BIOS on your X370 board um, so that it supports a Ryzen 2000 series. So first off you're going to need a first gen Ryzen CPU um, if the board doesn't support it out the box. So if you don't have one of those um, you either have to contact a retailer or AMD to let you borrow one. So I have quite a few first gen Ryzen CPUs but I want to run my second gen on so here we have the Asus Crosshair 6 Hero and this should be pretty much the same for any Asus um, X370 board downloaded the latest BIOS off the Asus website which is 6004 got it on a USB stick, extracted it, put it on there got the keyboard plugged in so you can see currently we're on 6001 with the Ryzen 7 1800X processor in there. So this is in the BIOS. First thing you want to do, if you haven't already, is um, you can save, well you don't if you want to save your overclocking profile you're going to have to save it onto USB stick so that it works with the new BIOS but obviously if you're putting a new CPU in uh, it doesn't matter. But you want to load the optimized defaults for whatever CPU you've got and reboot. I have already done that, so you can see everything here is at default. Um, nothing's on anything too exciting. So then you want to go along to Tool, go on to the Asus EZ Flash 3, select uh, via storage, then it will come up with your main SSD or hard drives. And you want to go down to your memory stick, mine's an 8 gig stick, so it's that one. And then you want to go down here. So you've got the, uh, I've got a few biases on here, so I have to be careful to pick the right one, which is 6004. So I'm just going to update that now. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Do you really want to update the BIOS? Yes. and off it goes so once this uh, progress bar has got all the way to the end and uh, what will happen is it will say um, the PC will be or BIOS update successful and the PC will be reset um, if it fails um, I'd try another USB stick the best recommendation with your stick is to format it completely, start from fresh, then put the um, the BIOS on it. However, you can see it's actually going pretty quick. So, this is working fine. You have to obviously make sure as well you don't knock your power lead and your cat doesn't chew through it or your hamster doesn't run into your power socket and unplug it while you're uh, while you're running this, because if you unplug it at this point you're pretty screwed. Don't think these Asus boards have dual BIOS. So this will be pretty much the same procedure for a X370 Prime Pro um, or a B350 Plus and stuff like that. Other motherboard vendors will also have their version of these flash utilities in the BIOS somewhere. Just have to find it. Um, but most of them work off the same procedure, USB stick in, just select the BIOS, update it. They usually take a couple of minutes to do. There we go. Update successful, system will be reset. It will do it automatically after a few seconds, it will go off. And then the PC will go through and post again. There we go. And it should come up saying new CPU installed. 
There you go, new CPU installed, press F1 to run the setup. So to check that it's um, all gone through properly, you can see there, BIOS version 6004. So we've got the 1800X in, all we need to do now is press the power button, turn the system off, uh, take the cooler off, put the 2700X in and uh, boot into the BIOS. So we've just put the uh, 2700 in, so we're just going to give it a boot up. And there we go. So there we go, that's a Ryzen 7 2700X working in an X370 motherboard. So what we'll do is we'll go on to DC DCOP DOCP rather um we'll try and boot at stock I think first and we'll just check it gets into Windows as well would help if we had the um, SSD plugged in <laughs> so I'll just go into CPU-Z confirm that that's working There you go, Ryzen 2700X on an Asus Crosshair 6 Hero X370 chipset. Super. Now, the other thing I'm just going to test as a first initial thing as well here as a bonus, we're just going to uh, run Cinebench at stock and see what it boosts up. So, there we go over 4 gigahertz right out the box 18.34 in Cinebench that's not quite as good as it was on the Hero 7 but it's uh, pretty damn close pretty nice score uh, you can see on the Hero 7 there that's from the uh, DICE session those scores and our baseline on the Hero 7 was actually 18.57 and this is scored 18.34 on XMP so yeah that's very close and uh, that will be it for this video I'll uh, see you in the next one I guess goodbye